Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to make a colorful Easter egg. I hope this isn't too late for you as I, uh, I'm sure you're seeing this um, well on Easter because I'll be posting this video tomorrow. I'm actually making this uh, the night before Easter, but you won't see it until Easter day. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is find your picture of an egg and go ahead and open that up in Adobe Photoshop. All right. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to make a copy of our background layer. If your layers palette's not up, go up to Window, down to Layers, and open that up. And uh, with that layers palette open, go ahead and take the uh, background layer and click and drag it down into your new layers button, or you can press Control J on your keyboard to make a copy of that layer. The reason we do that, once again, is so that uh, so that we have an original copy of that. So that if we, for some reason, accidentally destroy the layer that we're working on, we can always go back to our original copy. All right, now the first thing that we need to do with this uh, copy that we made, and make sure that you have it uh, selected, is we need to isolate this egg. Otherwise, the changes that we're going to make are going to show up on the entire image, and we just want the egg part. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to go over to my tool palette and click and hold down on my magic wand and tell, and tell uh, my quick selection and magic wand tool kind of pop up, and I want to select the quick selection tool. Now this could be a little difficult if your background's white like mine, but we'll see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag and see if I can get that egg isolated. All right, now like I told you, it's not perfect because um, because of this white background, but it looked like it, did, it looks like it did a pretty good job actually. So what I want to do is I'll just zoom in on the spot where it's not 100% perfect. I will press uh, the Q. Oh, ah. Uh, let me back up a little bit. I pressed Z on my keyboard to get my uh, zoom tool. If you don't know where the zoom tool is, it's over on your tool palette at the very bottom. You can click on that, and you can click and drag the area that you need to zoom in on. Okay, so go ahead and click on the imperfected area, and uh, that's what we want to do for now. Okay, so there's an imperfect area right here, and what I want to do is I want to press Q on my keyboard so I can go into my quick mask mode, and then I want to select uh, my eraser tool. Since I have my egg selected, it's showing up clear. Everything else that's not selected is going to show up pink. All right. So I need to select my eraser tool. I'm going to make it kind of hard, kind of not 100% hard, maybe around 90% hard. Uh, I went up to my brush here, and I clicked the drop-down arrow, and I set the hardness to 90%. Size of your brush, you're going to want to make a little bit smaller. I'm going to make mine around 80%. It's going to depend, or 80 pixels. It's going to depend a little bit on your image how big that brush is, though. But make it, you know, something that you can work with. And what you want to do now is just erase back some of the, uh, the red in that quick mask, okay? Uh, the rest looks pretty good, but go ahead and go around and... Make sure that, uh, that there's not too much red coming in anywhere else either, because you can kind of click that away. All right, now once you have it to a point where you kind of like it, go ahead and press Q on your, oh, and if uh, you see this spot down here, I'll zoom in a little bit, uh, get my zoom tool. You can see that uh, outside of the egg a little bit is clear. So what we would do there is we would select a brush tool, and we'd go up to the top, Make our uh, our uh, settings about the same, 63 pixels, and our hardness I can leave at around 90 90 uh, percent. And what we would do there is we would just brush back in the red. All right, so I'm just clicking that in, and I'm brushing back in. I'm not sure you could even really see that very well on the on the video here, but uh, that's how you take care of that. Okay, so I'll press Control Zero on my keyboard to zoom back out to 100. Uh, well to full size of my screen. If you want to go to 100%, you can just click on this here and highlight everything and type in 100, and press enter, and that'll take you to 100%. But I do want it full screen for this video for you guys, okay? So now we're still in quick mask mode. Uh, what we need to do is we want to get out of quick mask mode. So we can click our arrow or, um, well, actually, I don't think that's necessary, but go ahead and press Q on your keyboard. That'll take you out of quick mask mode, okay? Now, there's this little icon down here that'll enter you in and out of quick mask mode as well if you click on that. Okay? So now we're out of quick mask mode and we have our egg selected. What we want to do is probably go up to select at the top, down to refine edge, and we'll just feather that edge very ever so slightly, maybe by about a pixel. Okay? Because we don't want to lose our edge, um, but we do want to soften it up just ever so much. Okay, now with that egg selected, you can decide to go ahead if you want to and uh, 
Actually, let's go ahead and do this. We'll um, we'll do a quick or a, a layer mask on that, and so that you'll have only the egg. All right. So uh, now with now we only have the egg. Okay. So what we want to do now is add a layer adjustment layer. So we'll go down here and click on New Adjustment Layer Tool, and we're gonna do. Um, I think what we want to do is a hue and saturation layer. Yeah, that's what we want to do, and we'll uh, select this colorize box in there. And we now can make the layer whatever color we want. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do something like a green egg for now. So, slide that slider up there, that under hue, over to the green area. And make the saturation a little bit higher. Um, and then you can kind of play around with uh, the lightness and the darkness. If you drag the darkness down, it's going to get uh, greener, okay? But you can see that it starts to look a little bit... Uh, less real too. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it pretty dark here, I think. And we're gonna see, we're gonna play around with our blending modes um, to see if we can get that to look a little bit more real, okay? So now uh, <clears throat> with that uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer, let's try some of these different blending modes. We'll try multiply. That looks okay. Um, we'll try a lighten. I did nothing. Alright, point being go ahead and try some of these different blending modes. That hard light one that I just selected looks pretty good. You can also uh, play around with your opacity on that layer. Okay, so now uh, I have hard light selected. We have uh, a green hue and we have our saturation up here. Um, I think that looks that looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, the cool thing here now is if you want to go on that hue and saturation layer that we colorized the egg with, you click on that mask. You can, uh, you can then choose your eraser tool you can uh, shrink that down a little bit. Go up to the top here, shrink that down a little bit, and probably we want to keep that hardness up to 100%. So we'll take that hardness up to 100%. Our brush is down to 26. And what we'll do is we'll just, if you want to brush out some of the areas, you can do that with the eraser tool. Okay? So we can go ahead and just kind of paint away anything that we want. Now if we want to make those areas that we're just brushing away, if we want to color those, what we would do is make a copy of this hue and saturation layer. So take that and drag it down into the new layer button, and you now have a very, very, very green egg. Okay, so what we would want to do though, is we would want to get all these areas opposite of what we had um, selected pretty much. And we want to color those in. So pretty much what we want to do is we want to get rid of this uh, this layer mask. So we can delete that layer mask. So what we want to do is click on the new uh, the new this new one that we just made, and we want to right click on that and we want to say delete layer mask. Okay. So now we have um, kind of a greenish undertone there because the hole underneath. Well, there's no layer mask. Um, erasing these areas, okay? So the whole egg is green underneath. And if we want to change the color, you guessed it, we go up to our uh, hue and saturation adjustments and we just take that slider over a little bit. Now as you can see, since we set the uh, blending mode of that first layer to a hard light, it's, uh, it's changing the effect on that. So uh, if what you would need to do if you wanted it not to well, say you wanted this blue and you wanted that original green to stay the same. What you would need to do then is add back in a layer mask. Click that layer mask button. And just kind of grab your eraser tool. Uh, take the hardness down a little bit. Probably, well, I'll just put it down to zero. And what I'll do is I'll make my brush a little bit bigger. Just to show you guys. And in that layer mask, you can just quickly brush away um, any areas that you want that original green to show. Now, as you can see, if you get into these areas, you're going to brush that away too. So you got to be a little bit careful. But if you take your time a little bit, you can look pretty good. Okay. So, oh, here, and here's another trick that I usually tell people. If you click in one spot, and then you hold down shift, and you move that, uh, that circle over, and then you click again, you can, uh, you can actually kind of um, erase in between these points, okay? So yeah, I'm going pretty fast, but you get the idea, you get the picture, okay? So you can erase there, erase here, 
and all that good stuff. I suppose I ought to continue this just a little bit more so I can have a good picture for the video. But as you can see, that's how you do it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please click the thumbs up on, uh, on YouTube. If not, don't click that thumbs up. But um, please find me on uh, Facebook and like me there. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you have a Twitter account. Um, I do post in both places. So if you don't see um, my new videos coming out on YouTube, you'll see them coming out there. All right? So uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, and come again.